was a biologist, I made a study of altruism, behaviors on behalf of others, not oneself. And that's an evolutionary puzzle. How can goodness exist in a Darwinian world? Because our species is a highly pro-social species. Cooperation is, is what we do exceptionally well. And so my study of altruism led to the study of humanity, basically. Did humans evolve to be cooperative? Dr. David Sloan Wilson has assembled a team of researchers focused on understanding the social contexts in which cooperative behaviors are reinforced more than selfish behaviors. We're much more cooperative than most other species. In some ways, we're more like a beehive, a bee colony or an ant colony than our closest primate relatives. Pro-social spirituality is the coming together of science and both knowable and unknowable facets of spirituality. I think there are a lot of people out there searching and looking, and they don't even know what they're looking for. Living a life of depth is a huge goal. We should all be living a life of depth, and we get distracted by so many things. There's an inner dimension to spirituality, and there's an outer dimension. And unless the outer dimension is informed by the inner dimension, the outer dimension lacks efficacy. Pro-social spirituality brings together these two wisdom streams. Eleanor Ostrom was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize in economics for her work on common pool resource usage, from which she developed these eight core design principles. And then Wayne Teasdale, amazing pioneer in interspirituality, enumerated nine spiritual principles that are sort of the hallmark of spiritual maturity. So now we had eight principles for the horizontal, nine principles for the vertical. The eight core design principles are really about how to work together as groups. How can we collaborate better? How can we make things happen in a more meaningful, impactful way? And then the nine elements of interspirituality are really about the inner work. How do I come to this work as a group as my best person? How can I prove me? I love the concept of catalysis, and catalysis is a concept from chemistry where if you have a chemical reaction, you can sprinkle a substance in very small quantities, and it increases the rate of the chemical reaction by orders of magnitude without being used up in the process. The catalytic molecule grabs onto other molecule, pulls them together so that they bond with each other. Cultural evolution can be like that. We can increase the rate of cultural evolution by orders of magnitude if we know what to do. And it involves bringing groups and people together in a way that bonds them to each other, which releases us to repeat the process. The pro-social research team is compiling a database for scientific research to help improve cooperation within and between groups. Pro-social spirituality integrates evolutionary scientific concepts with universal spiritual practices to assist groups of all sizes to gain the tools they need to flourish. I'd say that pro-social is essentially the playbook for cooperation. That's how I'd explain that. Based in science, it's repeatable, it's trainable, and it has repeatable results that are evidence-based that facilitates cooperation and flourishing among groups and groups of groups. This allows individuals a safe space to be open and to explore mystery and not have to have every answer in order to impact their lives. The meditation where you begin inside and visualizing just someone that's easy to love and then expanding that out to those that are a little bit more challenging. That's what revolutionizes the world. That's what transforms our culture and allows us to be at peace. What Einstein suggested is that there are three principles scientifically that govern the entire universe. And those principles are unity, diversity, and growth. And out of those three principles come love, compassion, and hope. And when we begin to incarnate or embody in our own being those three values, then we begin to radiate a quality of being that allows us to be effective agents in the change of the planet. The world looks different as a result of this movement. It is truly transformative. So there's an amazing shift from individuals to groups. 
as part of this way of thinking. We are and should be becoming part of something larger than ourselves. And there's your spirituality coming into it one more time. I'm engaged in something that's more important than me. And I am willing to subordinate myself to that. It gives me joy to do so.